Today we're in um, eastern Wisconsin, and off in the distance there, kind of hard to see, certainly right now, but as Lake Winnebago, and we're on the eastern shore of it right here, not too far from Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, as well as uh, Stockbridge, kind of right in the middle there, this little area called Brotherhood. Um, and this is the Union Cemetery, but this exact area is extremely notable for Baptist history, particularly Wisconsin Baptist history. Um, and the person I'd like to talk about just a little bit today, his grave is right here. He's Benjamin Fowler. Wisconsin Baptist history uh, begins, the first Baptist in Wisconsin uh, came in, in the uh, early 1800s, um, and they were an Indian church that had relocated uh, first from Massachusetts, and then later uh, they uh, spent some time in Oneida, New York, when, uh, of course, during this time, uh, there's a lot of conflicts uh, with the relocation of the Indians and um, a large group, uh, Indian tribe, uh, many of which were called the Praying Indians. The Praying Indians, um, I'll get back to in just a second, but this large uh, tribe of Indians, couple tribes were relocated uh, out here and Benjamin Fowler was the Baptist pastor that accompanied them out there from New England, New York, to uh, set up the first church in Wisconsin uh, here on the east shore of Lake Winnebago. And his headstone there, Benjamin G. Fowler, died December 12, 1848. He spoke the language of his master. Little children love one another, is what his headstone there says. Benjamin Fowler undoubtedly was greatly influenced, and I don't have time, I wish I had more time to talk about uh, Samson Occam, a uh, Mohegan, full-blooded Mohegan Indian, uh, who was saved during the Great Awakening and uh, really wanted to uh, establish his people uh, there, leave them in the New England area. Um, and so with some help, he was uh, encouraged uh, by a reverend, reverend uh, Wheelock to go over to England and raise some money for the school that he wanted to start among his uh, people, the Indians there. And uh, he did. And when he was over there, uh, he was met by George Whitfield, who accompanied him for a while. He also met John Newton, uh, who, of course, is the author of the hymn Amazing Grace and uh, raised some money, came back to the uh, States, but unfortunately, just a series of um, very uh, sad and difficult uh, events had transpired, and uh, for his life, he really went through deep trials, to say it that way, and, um, but uh, his influence on the other uh, Indian tribes in New England was immense. Samson Occam, O-C-C-U-M. And, uh, of course, one of the men here influenced undoubtedly uh, by his uh, work and his ministry was Benjamin Fowler. And uh, not long after uh, Benjamin Fowler came here and uh, along with to pastor the group that, that uh, migrated to Wisconsin here, uh, a couple other men were sent from the American Baptist Mission Society to Milwaukee uh, a couple of years after this and planted the first Baptist church of Milwaukee and uh, on from there. <clears throat> but um, you can see here just in a little kind of obscure cemetery uh, in a little tiny area of uh, uh, Wisconsin, Brotherhood, Wisconsin, we have this monument to a... A uh, man who was faithful and uh, willing to leave his home area and uh, come out and pastor this recently relocated group of people and uh, guide them and be their spiritual guide. And so the first Baptist church 
in all of Wisconsin here in Brotherhood, uh, Wisconsin, pastored by Benjamin G. Fowler on the beautiful eastern shore uh, banks there of the beautiful Lake Winnebago. And maybe get a couple closer pictures about that for you in just a moment. 